Before we get started on these, it's a good idea just to take a quick exhale to help get the ribs down and make sure that you're not arching the back. Then you're going to think about just kind of scooping your butt off the ground slightly to begin the motion. And from there, you're going to push the heels into the ball, roll the ball towards you as you lift your hips up. Now, you don't want your hips to stay in the same place the entire way. You want to make sure that you're pulling your hips up as you go. The other mistake that you'll see is people drive up at the rib cage first and then pull through getting into the lower back. So you want to make sure that you keep your ribs down the whole way, push the heels in the ball and pull in. You should feel basically all hamstrings here, particularly the high part of your hamstring, not more towards the knee, but more towards the, the butt where the hamstring attaches to the pelvis. Once this gets too easy, you can progress to the band resisted version. Uh, the setup I have here is pretty bad. The, I'm not getting a whole lot of tension on the band, but just to illustrate what we're trying to do here, you want to make sure that you're put, you put the band lower than your feet. So you don't want to hook it up where the band is up too high or in line with the feet. You want it slightly lower than the feet. And then from there, you're just keeping the toes pointed towards the ceiling. Make sure that the band doesn't fall off and hit somebody in the face at the gym. And then you're just doing the same exact motion, pushing the heels in, pulling with the hamstrings.